Hey friends, do you struggle with being offended? Proverbs 19 verse 11 says, a person's wisdom makes him slow to anger and it's his glory to overlook an offense. The Greek word for offense in the New Testament is scandalon, which can be translated as bait stick and literally means to entrap. The enemy uses the trap of offense in our lives to hold us in bondage. We're constantly given opportunities to become offended, but will we take the bait? There's a native tribe in Africa that uses a scandalon or bait stick to catch monkeys. They place a cage with a bait stick in the jungle. The monkeys reach through the bars of the cage to grab the bait. But as long as their fists are gripped around the bait, they can't pull their hands out of the cage. They're trapped, holding on to the bait. They could easily get free from the trap just by letting go of the bait, but instead they're captured because they refuse to let go. A fence is the enemy's bait stick that he uses to try to capture us. Are you holding on to an offense? Has someone said or done something that hurt you that you can't let go of? Just like the monkeys holding on to the bait, as long as you hold on to a fence, you're snared by the trap of the enemy. So how do you let go? By forgiving the offender. Colossians 3.13 tells us, make allowances for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others.